world <laughs> hello world welcome back to my channel uh call me biz um a subscriber sent this to me this is sebastian Maniscalco. yeah I, I probably butchered that my bad all right uh <laughs> this is we need a dress code at the airport yo i yo airport is probably one of the worst experience that you could have like it, it never gets better it matter of fact every time i go to the airport it only gets worse all right <laughs> so i'm ready to watch this but if you enjoy this content please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell uh like the video leave a comment let me know you were here i right? show some love <laughs> let's go ahead and watch had a rough day <sighs> went to the grocery store Always a problem at the grocery store. Is it hard to pay? <laughs> Always something going on in my line, right? <laughs> That's a fact. Always in the back, I'm like, what are they? <laughs> Who's still paying in check? You'll see it. It will come out of a bag in slow motion. Then the whole line sees it. Because <laughs> it's just not the checkbook. Things go with the checkbook, right? Glasses always come on. Gotta find the check, hold on. Always asking, who do I write the check to? John's Market, it's on the guy's apron, it's on the bags. There's a lot of hints here. I got no patience for people. Guy had four items in front of me. I'm like, four items, how are we gonna screw this up? They scan it, boop, 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 boop. Then he pulled this one. And a pack of cigarettes, please. <laughs> now we gotta go to the cage. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're doing errands, right? That's all we do. Went to Ross for less. Anybody been to this nightmare? <laughs> I walked into Ross. I thought I walked into downtown Beirut. Damn, was that bad? I thought a bomb went off at this store. Everything's on the floor. How are they shopping over there? What, are they pulling stuff off the shelf? This is not my size. Yo. That's a fact. I know y'all hate when I stop and fuck it. I gotta tell y'all this. I used to work at, um, I used to work at <laughs> Dollar General. The check thing is a fact. Two things I hated. When an old lady comes in and she pulls out a fucking check. The second thing, coupons. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, I'll be sitting there for like 30, 40 minutes with one person. Because they got a whole fucking book of coupons. And they're getting like 20 cents off this, 30 cents off this. And when they're done, oh, look at that. I say $50. All that time, everybody, everybody behind up is pissed looking at me. They pissed off at me. I'm like, what the fuck you want me to do? She's doing it. Be mad at her. Like, why are you looking at me all crazy? Man, that shit will make you hate your day. That shit will, and IDs. ID. So when someone come in, right, in Dollar General, when someone come in, they gotta, they gotta show their fucking ID, right? If you're gonna buy cigarettes, if you're gonna buy anything that's behind that little glass, we you gotta show your ID to buy any type of nicotine, right? This old dude came in. I'm like, I'm looking at him, dude. I know. <laughs> I can see that you're old. He's like, can't you look at my face? 
you need my ID? What the fuck is this? He started going off on me. I'm like, sir, it's just the policy. I need to see your ID. There's cameras watching me. I need to see your ID. He goes off on me, and then he said this. He said, I'll see you when you get outside. I'm like, when I get outside? What? Dude, just show your ID. If you don't have an ID, get the fuck out the line. And plus, I would have whooped his ass. Like, what the fuck? Fucking old ass dude. I would have washed them. But anyways, <laughs> this is hilarious. I like the fact that this is so relatable. And uh fucking though those stores like Ross or, or TJ Maxx, they're always gonna be dirty because they're discount stores. People don't give a fuck. They go in there and they treat everything like shit. But let's go ahead and finish. I went looking for jeans. I heard they had cheap jeans over there, right? So I'm in the store shopping. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I found a pair <laughs> in housewares. Stamped irregular. Anybody looking at irregular clothes? Irregular? You're not getting a deal. You see irregular, you gotta lay them out. You gotta find out what the hell happened. Why are these a dollar? Because <laughs> originally $175, now slashed to a dollar. And if you're like me, you're looking at the pants, you're like, I, I can't find the mistake here. I think they made the mistake. I think I found a treasure. That's how it is. That's how it is. Till you get to the fitting room. I went to go try them on. I went to go get the zipper, the button, all this stuff wasn't even here. <laughs> I found that right here on the cab. Hell no. All the underwear, it's all boxed. The box has been ripped open so many times. They gotta duct tape them shut. You don't even know what you're buying. Thanks. I took a gamble on some CK boxer briefs for 39 cents. I brought them home, I cut the box open. It's a set of forks. I just got a problem. Impatient. People, airports, <laughs> enough. What is going on at the airport? Yeah, fuck the airport. Could we put a dress code at the airport? It looks like a slumber party. Oh, That's true. Do people care what they look like anymore? They just come out now as is. They must roll out of bed. <laughs> And then they're at United. <laughs> what the? Facts. Facts. I'm not. Facts. For the facts. I'm not into this. I'm not into casual. I like the 50s, 60s, people dressed up, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not into this whole casual. You meet these people, I'm comfortable. I don't care what people think of me, as long as I'm comfortable. Yeah? I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <You're> com <laughs> Shower. I'm not into this. It's got to stop. When you go to the airport, when you see the world, the world sees you. <laughs> And now what we do, we sit down in the plane. And now we look to see what catastrophe <laughs> that's going to be sitting next to us for five hours. I ain't going to lie, do that. Right? <laughs> I'll be waiting. I know. <laughs> and it's never this. It's never these beautiful ladies. I could tell my guy. 
I could sense it, right? Like he gets on the plane, we make eye contact, like, oh, this is him. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> everybody's got everything, everybody's got their Starbucks on it. I had to stop at the Starbucks before I got on. I got behind the couple that can't keep their hands off each other. You ever get behind this couple? It's disgusting. She's holding on to him from behind. <laughs> like he's going to take off. <laughs> it's Starbucks. He ain't going anywhere. Those are new couples. She was dating some softy. The guy had flip-flops on. What's this? Flip-flop. <laughs> you seen some of these guys' feet? Men's feet are disgusting. <laughs> he had the finger foot. What is this? You see that? <laughs> Toes so long, he's got knuckles on him. <laughs> like he could pick up an orange and then throw it at you. <laughs> <laughs> you have a hand on your foot. Take care of your feet. Just because you're in the shower and they're getting wet, them when they're getting, right? This concrete with this ash look here on the heel. You want to take a pumice stone to that? File, you got a cinder block on your foot. Sock it. And he turned to his lady, he's like, honey, do you want to share a lemon loaf? <laughs> what the hell did you just say? <laughs> did lemon loaf just come out of your mouth? What's lemon loaf? How do you feel like a man in order a lemon loaf? I would never get that, even if I wanted one. I'd point to it. Get one of these. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Yo, the airport is a fucking zoo. That's the only place you get to see animals traveling. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> that shit needs to be regulated. Like, <laughs> yo, people don't give a Fuck, they just cut. Oh my God, people. Yo, I had somebody on my plane that just kept on farting. It just kept on farting. I think he was sitting behind me. I know it was the dude behind me. I couldn't tell because it was a child and a mother in front of me. Next to me uh, were, were two dudes and they were looking around too. And they, they look, I'm like, yo, don't, don't look my way. Don't even try me like that. And, and it, it's like, they didn't care. Whoever was doing it, it was silent farts. It, the shit was stinking. You know, you can't put the airplane window down. You just have to deal with it. And, and everyone's just kind of looking around. Yo, I, <laughs> I was suffocating. I could imagine the people behind that dude. Oh man, it, it, it was bad, but he's right, man. <laughs> he's speaking truths. The reason I could relate with the with the store thing so much is because I worked at Dollar General, and like everything he's talking about was just <laughs> was just facts. You think the people in line be mad? Imagine being the fucking cashier. You got to deal with this shit for eight hours. <laughs> Man, yo, I definitely want to hear more from Sebastian. Definitely, 100%. I love the fact that, uh, 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 what you call that? When they move their body, what, what, what kind of comedy you call that? Like, what is it physical comedy? I like the fact that he acts it out like when he got on the floor to get the jeans. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yo, I could relate with, I could relate with everything everything he said like freaking bitches be going to the uh 
it to the airport with bonnets and just like fucking booty shorts and their bare ass gonna be touching the motherfucking <laughs> those uncomfortable ass seats it's just it's a mess it's just disgusting it's a mess and i'd rather not ever be at the fucking airport because i always have a bad experience fuck <clears throat> Anyways, y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. And also let me know what is next from Sebastian. And I got you. If you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Uh, yeah, like the video. I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be there. Peace.